Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. Here's our first mausoleum. It's Stepfield. And it's gonna belong to Dr. Charles Manter, Manter July the 19th, uh, 1854 to November the 30th, 1881. Nancy Yan, June the 8th, 1836 to May the 8th, 1915. William C. May the 8th, 1837 to November the 29th, 1912. Charles W. Schaefer, April the 3rd, 1893 to December the 13th, 1939. Ruth Stepfield Schaefer, July the 30th, 1894 to September the 24th, 1961. In memory of Eugene W. Schaefer, February the 10th, 19, I mean 1892, to April the 9th, 1954. Stanley Leon Stafford, Steffield, January the 10th, 1899, to February the 4th, 1910. Wilma, I don't know, Stefan, or Steffield, I mean, September 27th, 1861, to January the 3rd, 1932. Alice Stone, November the 30th, 1875 to November the 4th, 1920. Elizabeth Stefall, Steffield, 1898 to 1933. Mary Joy, or Joy, a Steffield. He slipped March the 1st, 1924 to June the 30th, 1979. Doctor, I have no idea. Steffield, May the 4th, 18. 89 to December the 15th, 1926. Dr. Alexander E. Stepfield, December the 5th, 1857 to February 24th, 1933. All on that one stone right there, guys. And all for this old mausoleum right here. And by the way, we are in uh, Chestnut Hill Cemetery. And that is a neat looking mausoleum. I don't know what year it was built. I have no earthly ideal, but it is a OD. All right. Well, let's look at some stones while we're here. And we're going to be doing some of the cemetery today. This is Bayshire. It's going to be Emma, the wife of Adrian Bayshire, born April the 30th, 1835, uh, and died June the 14th, 1905. Then it's Ashire or Abram Bayshire, born March the 12th, 1826, and he died September the 20th, I mean September the 6th, 1901. Well, that was hard to see. Then we have Henry Cooks. He died March the 15th, 1886, at age 88 years. And Esther Cooks died January 23rd, 1892, at age 88 years. On that stone right there, guys. Then we have, I'm just bouncing around. We're just more or less getting into this cemetery. It's gonna be Raffield. It's gonna be Ernestine, February 27th, 1855, to January the 2nd, 1927, and Julius, November the 9th, 1846, to December 21st, 1926. Then we have Austin Lehman, October the 22nd, 1847, February the 2nd, 1907, Mary Ann, I mean, Mary A., his wife, December the 2nd, 1849, to March the 8th, 1912. All right, guys. Then we have, well, let's just see who this on these. Then we have Evelyn Swartz, 1907 to 1930. And then we have Catherine Swartz. 1881 to 1952. Then we have Paul, 1871 to 1929. Then we have, I uh, can't really tell. Then we have somebody here that died, looks like they died in 18, I want to say 1818 on this one, right here. All right. Then we have somebody here that, uh, Elizabeth Earnhardt, or Everhard, 
born December the 7th, 1814, and died December the 18th or 16th, 1891. Sorry about the wind, guys. Sorry about the shaking. And sorry about if you hear road noise. I can't help either one. But I do apologize. Here's Anthony Schwartz. March the 8th, 1847. To March the 24th, 1828. And Augusta, his wife, May the 8th. 1849 and died December the 17th, 1906. Then we have this one. It's gonna, I can't, don't know the first name, but it's Everhard. Uh, born May the 3rd, 1814, and died December the 24th, 1891. Then we have Charlene, or Charlotte, I mean, 1856 to 1923. And then we have Oscar, 1855 to, to 19. Then we have, and I'm out of coins at the moment, so I don't know if I got any more in the car or not. I'll have to look directly. And we can't, oh, we just done that one. Duh. All right, guys, we're going to have to move down around the road. I just wanted to get a pop in here and see what was going on. This is Will. Will Wilhelmina Schaefer. September the 15th, 1833 to June the 3rd. 1905. Then we have. I think we got a school across from the road from me. Then we have Henry uh, Sherbani, 1844 to 1918. Marry his wife, 1851. And then Margaret Hertz, 1822 to 1901. And AJ Wirtz, Wirtz, 1853. Then we got a good looking stone right here. And it's gonna be Willaman Willaman Willaman. And I believe it's gonna be right here. 1848 to 1935. Alright, guys. Oh, we got one more right here. It's gonna be WH Willaman, 1833 to 1907. Then it's gonna be Frank. 1883 to 1886 and Maud 1887 to 1891 and then we got one more it's gonna be Margaret 1846 to 1930 then we have a stone right here and I can't make out who it is but there it is looks like they died in 1838 then we have somebody here that died in looks like uh, maybe 46 I'm not sure on this one no it's 20 something 1829 I think anyways here's Mary Woods and looks like she died April the 3rd 1862 then you got one here Alexander Woods and looks like he died March the 19th 1813 at 54 years on that one then we have somebody in the ground again right here but I can't tell when he died but there it is all right then we have this one and I can't tell when they died it looks like I have no idea on that one uh, I might have to move my car because I'm gonna just park down there in the way anyways here's somebody that died in 1876 just trying to land on a few of them and let you see them, guys. I have no idea where I'm, what I even got here. <sighs> That's this one. That looks like they died in 1889. I can't see that read the names or had to be reading them. This one died in 1861. Can't make out the names. I can this one. This is a Mary Debbie. Uh, she was born in August the 5th, 1792. And it looks like she died August the uh, 19th, 1871. Then you got Jacob. And I can't make out the last name. It looks like he died in July the 15th, 1862. And then you have George Wheelhouse, 1838 to 1912. And Maggie, his wife, 1843 to 1927. Then you have that last name, Rasker. Then you have William Rasker, 1848 to 1907. Ellen Rasker, 
1857 to 1943. And then you have Fred Rasker, 1875 to 1948. All of them Raskers are. All right. I think this is a stone too. It's in memory of somebody over here. Yeah, it's a stone. Let me grab this one while we're here. Right here. I don't know who it's going to be for. It's in memory. Right there. And right here. All right, guys. Right there it is. All right. All right. Hang on just a minute. Let me get on down here and get situated. Situated. You ever heard that name, situated? We got to get situated. All right, here we got Marie Browse, 1828 to 1885, and W.M. Browse, 1826 to 1896. Then we have Henry Hostickles, 1834 to 1912. This is a cool looking stone. I've not seen anything like it, but I can't read it. There it is. There are this one here, either one. They're both military, but I can't read them. But there they are. All right. Hang on, guys. All right, guys. Here's our next one. Is this not a cool-looking stone right here? That's going to belong to Joseph Weaver. Uh, August the 13th, 1887 is when he died. That is a beautiful stone right there, guys. Check it out. Is that not cool? All right. Let's see who we got here. <coughs> this is Elizabeth. It looks like Elizabeth died in something, 26, 1869 on this one, right here. And then you have Jacob, looks like he might have died in 1888 on this stone, 87 years. Then we have Flicker, Flicker in... Flickeringer, Flickering, Flickering, William Flickering, I believe, is the name. 1839 to 1920, and Catherine, his wife, 1840 to 1897. Then we have Gale House, Harvey H. Gale 1840 to 1899. His wife, 1845 to 1901. He was a Veteran of the Civil War on this one. Then we have oh that one's broken. This one's fixing to fall. And I don't know who it belongs to, you can't tell. Can't tell nothing on that one. Here's Bessie. She's the wife of Samuel Higgins. I think she died August 31st, 1869 on that one. Oh wow, look at this big old stone, guys. That's a beautiful stone right there. And that's gonna belong to David Gale House. November the 5th, 1874, he was 66 years, two months, 12 days. Mary, his wife, she died August 13th, 1894, at the age of 82 years, six months, and 16 days on that stone. So she's the only one that's on there. She is. All right, then we have uh, Minnie, 1867 to 1924, Maddie, 1880 to 1894, and Harvey, 1865 to 1890, then Henry, Gilhouse, 1838 to 1900, and Jeannie, 1844 to 1920 and George uh, 1876 to 1918 all on that one stone right there guys that's pretty cool then here's our next one it's a cool looking stone oh wow that is a neat looking stone I like that one it's Mariah the wife of A and M Lane died May the 29th 1879 and at 33 years and one month. Then Myron, he's the son of A and K and M and E Lane, died August 29th, 1879 at three months and six days. All right, guys, hang on just one second. 
All right, guys, here's John Franks. He died October the 1st, 1855. He was 69 years, 8 months, and 16 days. Then you have, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's Anna, and it's the wife of John, but I can't tell nothing on her. Then you have this one. They died in 1850, it looks like. Here's another 55. It's John P., the son of J. and F. Franks. Died October the 17th, 1855. He was 12 years old. Eight months and two days. Wow. Then you have Rose Will, Will Gut, Real Gulch. Died July the 1st, 1938. Then you have Hinwig. He dies 1859. 1888 1859 to 1888 then we have Frank Safas 1853 to 1937 and I don't know that name 1853 to 1920 then we have this one Ralph Surfast October 22nd 1828 to March 22nd 1903 and Elizabeth his wife April the 20th 1822 to May the 26th 1904. Wow, look at this different looking stone. I've not seen any like this one either. This one's kind of neat. Right here, and it's Billman. And there's only going to be two Billmans. And that's going to be right here. That's going to be Ben Rose Billman, 1833 to 1917. And then it's going to be Rebecca, 1834 to 1926. They go to that stone right there, guys. That's a beautiful stone. Sorry about the shaking. I'm trying to get in a spot where I can start recording good. Uh, hang on just a minute. All right, guys, here's our next one. And the last name's going to be Hilfman. Hilfman. It's William. April the 2nd, 1831 to March the 15th, 1916. And Amelia. May the 19th, 1932, to April the 5th, 1906. Then we have Rolla, 1857 to 1858. And Jeannie, 1865 to 1873. And that's all that's on that stone, I believe. Yep, that's all that's on that one. All right, guys. Let's see who we got on down here. We'll get in this other yard right here. Go start getting into it pretty good. See who we got. I almost didn't come to do this one. I almost was going to go home. But then we have Sindel. And we have Michael. 1832 to 19... 1904. And then we have Mary Sindel. 1845 to 1831. On that stone right there, guys. All right. That's a beautiful flower. Look at how big that tree flower thing is. Beautiful cemetery there here. Looks very nice. Here's Lucy S. Wall, 1876 to 1956. Then we have, right here, we have Rhonda Smith, August 29th, 1873 to January 31st, 1926. Then we have William Smith, May the 22nd, 1849 to October 17th, 1899. Then we have Mary Jane Smith, August 12th, 1852 to July 24th, 1904. Then we have some Bush people, and I can't tell much about the Bush people, uh, except they're, it's a handy or something like that, bay singer. Born April the 4th, 1838, and died August the 15th, 1896. And I don't know if anybody else is in that bushes or not. If they are, they're just going to have to stay there, I guess. All right. Then we have this monstrous stone right here. Right here. And one's flipped over. I can't tell who he is. But it's going to belong to the wife. It's A.J. Miller, 1870. To 1918. Oh, there's a people to hold around this thing. Then it's going to be Georgetta. It looks like eight 
1886 to 1966. William, 1876 to 19, uh, 18, I mean 1966. W.R. Miller, Jr., 1901 to 1918. Oh, wow, it would be. I can't even see him. I think it's March the 1st, 1810 or something, or 13, to September the 23rd, 1905. And then Mother... Carissa, September the 14th, 1820 to August 23rd, 1894. Then we have, oh, it's on the outside of these. Then we have Lucilla, 1845 to 1929. Then we have, oh, it's on these two. I can't see some of them because of the sun hitting them. I just hold it on them. This one died August the 24th, 1874, four months and 28 days. I guess they're children that has passed. I can see the one that was the only one I could see. The glare of the sun has really took them on where I can't see these. But I'll hold it where you guys can read it. Boy, I remember them days, picking your kid up from school and being in a line of traffic up there like that. I do remember that. All right, let's go on, guys. Then we have somebody in the ground here that died in 1880. Eighteen eighty-six on that one. Here's somebody that died August the sixteenth, eighteen twelve. On that one, and then up top, someone died in eighteen thirty-six. It looks like or eighty-six one. I'm not sure on that one. The bottom one died in eighteen twelve. All right. Then we have Henry Franks. He died May the fifth, eighteen thirty-six. He was seventy-two years. 10 months, 24 days. Christina, his wife, died August 16th, 1842, at the age of 77 years on that stone. Let's see if anybody else is on there. There is. Uh, something Franks. Looks like they died November the 5th, 1887, at 75 years, I believe. That stone's leaning bad. It's going to fall. Then you got this big old one here. And... I am not sure when they died. I cannot tell. I think it's 63, but I wouldn't swear to it. It's Abraham Franks. Abraham Franks. And then over here, oh, it's worse than that side. And then over here, yeah, it's worse than the other side. Wow, guys. I can't read any of that. But there it is. All right. Oh, wow, this is a neat stone. Let's go ahead and grab him. I like the neat ones. This one, of course, you ain't going to read this side, of course. But here's this one. They died in 1826. No, 1915. They were born in 1826. Sorry about that. That's Mary Franks, I believe. I believe it's a Mary Franks. And I can't really tell on this one. I think they died in 1892, but I can't tell who it is. And then over here, well, there ain't nobody there. That's all right, guys. Hang on just one second. All right, guys. This one here's a neat one, but I can't read anything on it. It looks like they died in 1878, but I wouldn't swear to it. It's a cool looking stone. Then we have William R. Wilson. Looks like 1809 to 1892. And Margaret, his wife. 1816 to 1886 on that stone. Then we have we have Clicknicker or Clicknicker or something like that. Clicknicker, Clicknicker, 1870 to 1890. 
1929, and Harvey, 1866 to 1936. Then we have Leonard. Mm, I have no idea. December the 24th, 1884. He was 53 years and four months and 26 days. Elizabeth, his wife, died December the 7th, 1917, at 89 years and seven months. Well, she lived a lot longer than he did, didn't she? All right. And I don't know how much of this one we're going to be able to cover. So we may end up end up, end up having to come back to this cemetery somewhere down the line. Just to let everybody know. This is Albert Franks. But I can't see it. But I'll hold it there for a minute so you guys can. All right. Next we have... Hmm. That's a pretty neat cemetery. We have Sarah... I have no idea what that last name is. 1866 to 1929. And then we have Augusta. 1876 to 1939. Then we have this one. And I can't really tell nothing about it. Yeah, because I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to walk today. And there's a lot of stones in this cemetery. That's all that's on that one. Then we had this. So we may do a, end up doing a revisit on this one. Then we have three little crypt type stones. We have uh, Leonard DeLance, 1888 to 1909. Then we have Jesse R. Lance, 1859 to 1931. And then we have Emma B. Lance, 1861 to 1938. So, just to let everybody know, we may end up doing a redo on this one. Or a rewatch, or re revisit, or whatever you want to call it. This is George Lance. He died March the 8th, 1882, at the age of 65 years, 6 months and 8 days on that good looking stone right there. Let's see if he's the only one there. He ain't. Here's Elza. His wife died January the 5th, 1887, at the age of 65 years, three months, and one day. And this cemetery wasn't even on my list. This is just one that, boom, there it is. That's how they happen. They go, boom, there they go. And I end up with them. Uh, I ain't complaining. It gives me something to do. I can't read that one. I can't see it. There it is. I'll hold it there for a second, let you in see it. But see, this goes way down through yonder. Way up through yonder. I mean, this is a big place. I didn't think it was this big when I, I pulled in up there. I just happened to see the sign and came up the road, and boom, there it is. Born January 22nd, 1837. Died December 12th, 1903. This is S.J. Hodgins Hosteller. And then Catherine, his wife, was born March the 6th, 1840. And died June the 30th, 1915. Then you got John Calvin. He's the son of the S and J and C Hochstetter. Born July the 6th, 1857, and he died December the 21st, 1927. Emma Alice Fleck, Fleck, Flick, or something like that, 1864 to 1937. And that's all that's on that big old stone right there, guys. That's a big one too. All right. Then we have Anna Schlank, Schlanker, Schlanker, Blake, 1873 to 1958. Then, oh, this is a cool looking stone. This is Isaac, Isaac Schlank, Schlanker, died March the 1st, 1884. He was 57 years, 11 days. Sarah, his wife, 1831 to 1919. He was a Mason. Then you have Mary J., the daughter of J. and A. Slanker. Uh, November the 28th, 1864, at the age of six years, three months, and 17 days on that side. And that's all that's on that stone right there. That's a beautiful stone, guys. Then we have, we'll get them in a minute. Let me go ahead and grab these right here. This one right here. It's going to be Reuben Winch, 
Born December the 10th, 1811, and died May the 7th, 1888. Lois Winch, born November the 25th, 1810, and died April the 22nd, 1885. And that stone right there, that's a good looking stone as well, guys. Then we have Philip M. Shook, October the 17th, 1856, to June the 21st, 1921. Then you have Viola Shook. March 27th, 1855 to May the 3rd, 1944. Then we have, I guess just a miscellaneous. We have the wife of Philip M. Shook, born April the 10th, 1861, and died May the 7th, 1893. Then William Leroy, age one year old. Then we have Charles Carter. Died August 27th, 1892, at 37 years, 5 months, and 13 days. Then we have, I have no idea right here, guys. There it is. Wow, this garden pretty well wiped out. Then we'll have Emmanuel Stoller, 1812 to 1889. And Elza Stoller, 1820 to 1901. Then you have Jacob. 1846 to 1918. He's a veteran of the Civil War. All right. Then we done the Turners. And we done those Franks. Okay, so we're over here. All right, guys. We're getting a little bit done. I might have to end this video here in a moment. Let's see where we're at. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to end this one and start another one, guys. There'll at least be two out of this one for now. And it may be a visit down the road. I'm not sure. But anyways, peace. We're out of here.